Hey dolls, Wild Wolf Dolls here, and welcome back to another video. Today is going to be a little different than my previous videos. Today we'll be taking a look at every single Bratz vehicle that has ever been made. Just to mention I got this video idea from Beauty Inside a Box. I'll link them down below because they did a Barbie version, it's amazing. So most of today's information will be coming from the website Looking Bratz. If you've never seen Looking Bratz, go and check them out, they've got a huge database. Also, most of the information will be coming from like eBay listings and like stuff that's been in the box so I've just been like jotting stuff down writing stuff down from back of the box so it's a bit more descriptive because I couldn't find too much but I wanted it to be quite detailed from each vehicle so in 2002 the FM Cruiser was the first Bratz car to ever release hitch a musical joyride with the girls with a passion for fashion on an incredibly cool authentically detailed Bratz mobile this super cool convertible is actually a real working FM radio with working head and tail lights and customised horn sound, and comes complete with awesome features like wheels that move, doors that open and close, a stick shift that moves back and forth, and a trunk that pops open, loaded with accessories like water bottles, shopping bags, sunglasses, and a cell phone. This is one funky ride you can't pass up. So this car included one reusable designer decal sheet, two shopping bags, one popcorn, one powder box, one mirror, three nail polishers, one brush, one eyeshadow case, and one mascara, and two floor mats. And then in 2003, the FM Cruiser was actually repackaged and released with Chloe, Jade, Sasha, Yasmin, and it was also repainted white and released with Chloe. The far more funk limo was also released in 2003. I can't find a lot about the limo other than what I can see from like eBay listings and stuff like that. But here's a little description from the back of the box. Before hitting the super styling runway disco, the Bratz boys and girls know how to kick part into high gear with this styling ride that comes decked out with a smoothie bar, a primping station and cruising lounge and features real working FM radio lights and horn. So the car included obviously the FM limo, four water bottles, two makeup brushes, six glasses, perfume bottle, a real working seat belts, a pop-up TV screen, a spacious storage trunk and a glove compartment. So MGA previously in 2002 brought out the Bratz Boys and then in 2003 they brought out the Bratz Motorcycle which I think was more targeted to boys so that boys can play with dolls too, which they was. So rev your engines for a blazing ride with the Bratz and boys. The first ever Bratz Motorcycle was made. The bike came with either Jade, Sasha, Chloe, Megan, Yasmin and Cade. The motorcycle features real working headlights and tail lights, one of a kind license plates, sounds, and it fits up to two dolls. The motorcycle comes with a doll, two helmets, one full outfit, two bracelets, two necklaces, and styling sunglasses. And then kicking off 2004 with the Flashback Fever Retro Ride Van. Before cruising a commotion in the clubs and chilling outside a classic cool calves, the Bratz and the Bratz boys just love to groove on down and party up in this funky flashback ride. Six in one cruising fun, one driver's den, two cruising lounge, three smoothie bar, four jacuzzi, five primping station and six chill out loft. The horn beeps and it also comes with a real FM radio and volume control. And it also says it comes with tons of cord accessories which I have no idea what they are since they don't list it on the back of the box. This bus also gets recolored and re-released multiple times. It was the first ever van to be made for the Bratz. And then we have the Tokyo RC Cruiser. The Cruiser comes in green and yellow. It has real working head and tail lights, full function radio controlled wireless remote. Um, not a lot that I can find on this car, but it doesn't come with a lot of accessories. It's just the car and the remote, I think. But yeah, lots of fun to have with this remote control car. And then to end 2004, we have the Wildlife Safari Cruiser. On the back of the box, it says, strap yourself in for a ride like no other and join the Bratz as they cruise on a late night hunt for the hottest cars and clubs and called out coffee shops around. The features on this cruiser is rear head and tail lights, the seat extend up and they swivel, adjustable front seats and removable doors, limited edition license plates that come with like different cars if you buy them in store or whatever. 
Uh, the back door opens the other pop-up cooler and a fold-out makeup vanity. The accessories that this car has is a cell phone, a map, binoculars, camera, first aid kit and six packs of soda and then some CDs with the cases. And then in 2005 we're kicking off with the Campfire Cruiser which is a recolored version of the Wildlife Safari Cruiser. It has all of the same accessories, all the same features. I actually really like this Campfire Cruiser, um, but I've yet to find one for sale, so I might have to keep a lookout for that. And then we get the Dynamite motorbike in yellow. I think this is the first time I've seen this type of motorbike in 2005. You can buy the bike separate, or you can buy it packaged each with either Never, Megan or Chloe. Um, it includes a matching helmet as well. And then we have the Hollywood style limo, which is just a recall of the formal funk limo. It's just in purple instead. And then we have the live in concert cruiser. This cruiser is very unique. It has a lifting like windscreen thing. I think that's what it is. Like the lid lifts up so you can put a doll inside that lifts back down. And then that, that's like the roof slash window sort of thing. Um, it has working lights, it has um, a really odd shaped steering wheel which is cute. It only seats one Bratz though and it has three wheels. I own this car myself, I really adore it, like it's just on display, it's really nice to look at. So like if you don't have it, like I really recommend getting it. And then we have Cade's motorbike recolored for Pretty and Punk, which is actually a really nice recolor, like it changes it up quite a bit. So it kind of looks like a different motorbike, but it's not. But this time you don't get a doll, you don't get accessories, it's just the helmet and the bike. So for the Rock Angels line, we actually get a few vehicles. First off, we have the Cruiser, which I believe is different to the FM Cruiser, only slightly. Um, but it has all the same features. We also get a limo, which is again a recolor of the formal funk limo. But it's really nice. Like I've not seen it before recording this video, so it was quite a surprise seeing it. But Jade comes with a limo, and then we get a party plane. Um, I'd like to own this plane, but I feel like it's going to be like so big I have no space for it. It lights up and it comes with accessories. It says it fits two brats. And finally, we have the Rock Angels bus, a recolor of the Flashback Fever bus, which again, tons of fun. The stairs in the bus is a selling point for me, to be honest. And then Treasures comes out with its iconic jet ski, the Scorching Sea Scooter. I guess that's one way to put it. I've never wanted this jet ski. I feel like it's quite boring. It has nothing to offer unless you want to take some like water-based photos, which I'm not a fan of personally, but I'm sure a lot of people love this scooter. And then in 2006, we got Forever Diamonds and they popped off with their on-the-go truck. Like, I love it so much. My best friend, Bratz Girl World on Instagram, gifted me this truck and I love it so much. It is slightly on my display, it's just all closed up. You can see it. But this truck has so many play features. There's loads of storage, a massive runway, two seats in the front cab, and I think it has an FM radio, but I'm not too sure because mine doesn't work. It also lights up. And then you can plug your own music into, so the girls with a passion for fashion can strut their stuff to. And then we get recolors of every other car we've seen. We've got the Diamonds Limo, which I'll admit is really pretty. I might look out for it in the future. And then we get the Party Plane again, but for Forever Diamonds, we get a Diamonds FM Cruiser, which I love. I think it's the first time we see this model, but I'm not sure. But it's hella cute. And then we get the Diamonds Bus, which I really want. I love it. It's so sleek. Oh my god. And then kicking off 2007, we have the Adventure Girls Wild Cruiser, which is again another recolor of the Wildlife um, Safari Cruiser, but now it's in pink. And like, it's so cute. Like, I love it. I've never seen it before, so like, I might have to keep my eye out for it. Um, it's got a really light pink roof, which is cute. Um, it has the same features and accessories as the other, like, Wildlife Safari Cruisers and the Campfire Cruisers. I just like to note there's a lot of reproductions for the same vehicles. It's just like recolors, etc. So I'm like missing out a lot, but I'm just pointing out the nicer recolors at the same time. In 2008, we get the design by Limousine with Dana, which is a recolor but in gold. How exciting! And the Dana doll is a passion for fashion Dana with step out Sasha's clothes. There are a few playsets in this line actually the roadshow truck with Phoebe and the jet set with Katia, which I actually want the Katia doll, but I cannot find her. Then 2009-2010 we saw a couple more recolors but with the first reboot of Bratz we saw some new vehicles but they're very ugly. Um, the on the mic bus which is kind of cute 
but it is very blocky. It comes with a stage, you get a microphone that can plug into the bus and you can sing. The Platinum Shimmers give us a new car, very, um, it's very cube shaped. Um, I doubt this is based off a real car because it's hilarious, this shape, but I've never seen a car like this. Um, the car was released with Yasmin or Chloe, and then the RC Cruiser came back, but in red in 2012 with a basic Yasmin doll. Nothing too exciting, and then the Platinum Shimmers car came back in pink later that year for the pink Winter Dreamline. And then with the second reboot of Bratz in 2015, they gave us some real sleek cars. The RC car in blue and pink, that has, it literally states on the box, steering wheel and lights of course it's going to come with steering wheels and lights like is a car <laughs> and then brats came to an abrupt end sadly only releasing dolls up until 2018 um and then brats had a revival back in 2021 yes um yeah it is a revival not a reboot since they are continuing the dolls from 2009 um the only place that we have gotten so far in 2021 um, was the Rock Angels 20 year car, which is a reproduction of the first cruiser we saw in, I think it's 2002. Um, it's just recolored red. It's a shame they didn't use the Rock Angels model, but never mind. The head and tail lights work. It makes noise. They come with stickers. Um, I have this car. I'm obsessed with it. It's very sleek, very cute, very shiny, actually. So, yes. So, if you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for joining me and taking the time out of your day. I hope I was able to spread a little bit of a Bratz history with you all today. Let me know down below in the comments, what do you think of each car? Which car do you like the most and which car do you dislike the most? And again, a big thank you to Looking Bratz for all the information and to Beauty Inside a Box for the idea for the video. And if you're not, please go and follow me on Instagram at Wild Wolf Dolls. I'm also on TikTok at Wild Wolf Dolls. And if you feel like it, put a smile on my face and hit that big red subscribe button down below. So thank you for taking a little bit of time out of your day and listening to me about some Bratz vehicles. I hope you have an amazing morning, night, whatever it is when you're watching this video and I will see you all later. Bye!